you've worked with uh, Vince McMahon, obviously. You've worked with uh, Eric Bischoff a bit. Uh, Vince Russo. Uh, can you tell me the difference between these three guys? To you? Your memories? Oh, let's see. Well, Russo, I, I, I don't know. Russo didn't like me and Bradshaw. I think it really Bradshaw was rude of Russo not liking me because Bradshaw was just a bully to everybody. Okay. Yeah, and, so that is true about yeah. Bradshaw. Okay. When we were in the ring in Japan, he would be beating up the guys. They say, "Please tag in little blackjack." <laughs> tag in little? Yeah, you want little? You want a little blackjack? Little blackjack? Little blackjack? <laughs> Good lord! Okay. Uh, Baba called us back. He had a meeting with us, mm -hmm. the three of us. Mm -hmm. He said, "He said you, you're too heavy with my boys." Mm. And I'm looking at Bradshaw. I'm like, Jeez, man. But, yeah. <laughs> Baba called us down and said, okay, we'll take it easy. Right. Bradshaw the next night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Didn't give a shit. Just wailing out. <laughs> Did um, you ever want to tell Vince Russo? I'm just, I'm just curious. Uh, or better yet, let me ask you, is Vince Russo what's wrong with the business when it comes to a guy in charge of booking a show? It sounds like, you know, he wasn't a fan of yours, and I could probably understand why. I figured you would be telling him, I'm not doing that stupid idea of yours. Well, I mean, it just, it seemed like he didn't have a broad scope, a broad enough, you know, to cover yeah. all the wrestlers yeah, and everything yeah. that was there. Yeah. And he had a little narrow picture of what he wanted. Right. And yeah. I just never fit in it. So. Right. I never had any personal problems with him, but, you know, I'm, I know what going on in the meetings in New York, so I know what's said about guys. So, right. You know. It would only make sense, too, because his whole thing was that Jerry Springer type of thing, and that, right. that wasn't That's the type of Barry guy. Windham? That's not Barry Windham at all. How, right? about, how about Vince McMahon and uh, Bischoff? What do you got for me on those two? Uh, Bischoff, you know, was always straight up with me. I never had any problems with him. And Vince, you know, just we started out well in 85, but... Uh, you know, then after I left, it was just, you know, he just, he takes digs and, and if you, if you keep going with it, you'll just bury yourself, which I probably did. Mm. You know, just. Vince not very forgiving, in other words. No. Gotcha. To be fair to Vince, do you think that he had a right to be angry at, with, at you for walking out on him in 85? Well. I don't know because he changed the way that he did business too because there were so many guys dropping out, dying, overdosing, and you know just couldn't handle the the travel. And, and there were you know we were running three crews in those days too, mm. so we were going everywhere. But you know I he learned from it, and uh, I'm sure that. Uh, if I had to participate in more, we could have worked something out. But I, you know, I just, you know, I was there, and then I was just doing what I was doing, and never talked to me or anything. And I was just like, forget this, I'm done. Yeah, right. Yeah. And right. I'd rather go back 